Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Samurai Warriors Spirit of the Sun. I'm the Mysterious JG. We're finally doing an actual real battle. It's been so freaking long. Um, I probably have time, not that you care, but I probably have time for one video, maybe two, in my little mini session uh, before I got to wrap this thing up. So it'd be kind of perfect if we um, can just win this one on the first try um, without a bunch of save load. Save load doesn't usually come from the player character being defeated, although sometimes it does in those side missions if you're playing as a character who you haven't used at all, who has, like, not leveled up a bit, one bit. Um, like, you know, Oichi way back when fighting against uh, Nobunaga. So, uh, save load usually comes because we fail an objective that I either want to do that's optional, like one of the feats, or um, something that's required to win the battle, uh, like, you know, Yukimura manages to get his dumbass killed. Um, why don't you just keep Yukimura safe while Konoichi wanders around and tries to see what the game wants us to do as far as progressing the story? It's about time for the ninjas to send to make their presence felt. So I approached Ina, but that doesn't seem to be doing anything yet. Stratagems. One of the Sonata Army's ninjas has discovered the underground storehouse and opened its gates. Okay. This is, our for this is formulating winning strategy. We rule. I'm going the wrong way here. It's just going this way. Vast quantities of provisions, eh? Sounds good to me. I have to admit, at first I thought you were a Tokugawa spy. I'm so sorry, you know. Okay. That is what the con We're actually having little conversations here. That's nice. Let's actually see what they said. And I also realized I kind of missed, um... So Yukimura actually is leaving. Okay. Because Sazuki kind of shamed him. And now she's saying, oh, I have to admit at first I thought you were a Tokugawa spy. I'm so sorry, my lady. How has she proven she's not a Tokugawa spy? What do you mean, at first I thought that? You've known her for like ten minutes. And uh, she is a Tokugawa spy, by the way. It's understandable. You think about it, bad blood between the clans in the past. You don't have to be so formal. Whoever you are, I don't actually know you. We've never actually been introduced. Ina Chin. That might be a little... Yeah, that's. I think that's a little more informal than she meant. They have come up with a good idea. That's the kind of thing only a couple of girls could come up with. Okay, let's get some white wine and watch a bunch of episodes. Like, let's go... Uh, never mind, I screwed it up. I had a joke. I've screwed it up. I was going to say, let's get some white wine and rent beaches. Whatever. <laughs> I screwed it up. Forget it. Um, I thought the hidden storehouse was way to the west. Yeah. So we need to get over there. Actually, here's what we'll do. I I had Mitsunari guarding uh, Yukimura, but he's off the map now. So let's have him just... He'll just head over here in free mode. That should make him go over there. It's not always... I can't always tell exactly how you're supposed to do this stuff. And then I is all the way down there, so... Um... We've discovered a spy, okay. Find all the spies and defeat them, okay. I thought I'd already destroyed a couple. Whatever. All we're doing now is running around, so let's order... Kudoichi to find Aya. Because she can just go do that, right? Okay. I 
only hope he made it safely out. I'm not gonna go check. And again, nothing's translated. Even though he's not stupid enough to come back and fight that badly. Or even he's not stupid enough to come back and fight. Well, we'll see. I have a feeling you're going to be proven wrong there. That was nothing. The way you just insulted our lord, that was nothing. I don't care about that. Meanwhile, I remember for the first time in a while that the Hojo used the Triforce of Power as a logo, or the Triforce as a logo. And, uh, despite what a fellow Let's Player, uh, who I'm in the middle of a, uh, long-term three Let's Player project with says, clearly the Triforce of Courage was, uh, a retcon added later. It was not originally part of the series. I'm not... So what am I supposed to be doing here to actually... Destroy... I guess I... Is there provisions I haven't located yet here? I feel like I got them all. Whatever. Oh, here, here's the hidden part of the hidden storehouse, maybe. Well, none of our secret objectives are really time sensitive, which is good because I feel like I'm not figuring out how to do this quickly at all. But I definitely haven't got all the. Okay, so I've succeeded in that one. Mitsunari can just do whatever for for the time being. We need to find Aya, and we need to find these ninjas. Or spies. So I found uh, I found Aya. That doesn't seem to have accomplished anything yet, though. Maybe I need to be controlling her. I mean, Kunoichi, not Aya. I see you've got the whole terrifying ice queen look going. Perhaps I should teach you some manners. They've come up with a good idea. Maybe girl isn't the right word. Yeah, I as an old woman at this point. Did you say something, bitch? I'm not sure what this little thing represents. I... We definitely haven't gotten all the spies. I know that. Sazuke is sensitive. Okay. I need to try to remember where the spies are, but certainly they're on that half of the map. It would be super handy if we were allowed to target them in this mode. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna be that easy. Okay. Alright. I think one of them was over here. Actually, that is not right. <laughs> One of them is right here. They were right there a second ago. Here we go. I don't know why you are a spy and everyone else we've encountered is not, but okay. These other enemies are not capable of any kind of spoken communication or written communication, so they're not spies. You allowed the enemy to breach the castle? We started out in the castle. You have completely fouled this up, man. So, feet-wise, uh, all we got left is, to, is uh, to get more provisions, which is probably a plot thing we got to do before we can get into uh, the, the final boss dude's chamber anyway. And... Um, we want to use a strategy to make him... I'll probably save scum this. I'll probably save, use the tactic to convince him to surrender to see what happens. Then we'll have a whole 
20 minutes of dialogue before I'm allowed to load and actually defeat him so that we get all of the uh, feats. But yeah, now it's just a matter of destroying more provisions. And uh, the spies is more of a secondary. Uh, find all spies and defeat them. Okay, enemy officers have popped up somewhere, because up to this point we really didn't have any. Father, forgive me, allow the enemy to reach the castle. Oh, hold on one second here. We can urge Mashashige to surrender. Never mind, it is the same guy. I thought maybe it was like two different members of the same clan and not really the same character, but no, it's the same. So I, I don't see how we can do both in one run. I probably, yeah, I've probably got to go take them out. And I probably don't have enough time now. Crap. Oh well. The castle maps are always really confusing, like, you can't tell where you can and can't go on the map, because it looks like you've got a path, and it turns out it's, there's like a one-way stretch of it. But it does look like I'll take them out before they can enter. Was easy enough. Fury mode was almost certainly overkill here. But... Oh, did I just fail on this quest? Fuck! Come on, game. You gave me like two seconds. I had to know it was coming and be right there. Ah, oh, whatever. That's Samurai Warriors in a nutshell. If you don't know what the feats are in advance, they set them up so there's no way you can react on the fly and have time to accomplish them, which is annoying. Okay, but that's not one of the official feats that will unlock stratagems, so I guess I'll let it go. And we did defeat the two officers, so they're no longer a threat. So get your ass over here and start killing spies. Mitsunari's taking care of the spies, actually. Kunoichi's taking care of goofy dialogue with Aya and, uh, Ina. How serious you look, guy that I don't have unique dialogue for? Just because I'm actually seriously clearing rooms with him, uh... Kitsunari's getting a lot more KOs than Kunoichi is, I think. I'm not going to brag about such a trivial achievement. I will mention it, however. By talking about how I'm not bragging about it, I'm kind of bragging about it. Okay, there appears to be no great time restraint. I don't know where all the frickin' uh, spies are. Let's get you back to this uh, eastern storehouse to get the story to continue, because apparently I missed uh, provisions over here. If the law goes back far enough, maybe we can figure out where the spies are. That's not going to tell us. Although, wait, no, there was a bit of dialogue from, uh, what's-his-face? Uh, Sazuke. I can sense him. Here we go. I think I've already gotten the, the two sort of northwestern ones. So it looks like we're really close to one, and then I gotta go to that door for the other, which, uh, probably we can't do until, um... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch and have him head back over there, just in case there's, like ninja double jump shit that will help us get to that uh, spy. In the meantime, she can turn around and deal with the spy that's over here somewhere. Just 
might have this this whole decision might have just cost Mitsunari his 1,000 KOs he was looking to get, but whatever. Because we've got this little path with the arrows indicating it's one way only here, but maybe it's a ninja jump path and it is not. So never mind. I could take out the barracks cap in this case. She is just gonna just hang out here. Meanwhile, I just gotta find nobody else is doing it. I just gotta go find all the food things and destroy them. I thought we set a fire to get rid of all of them in one shot. I guess that didn't work. These ones are incredibly fire resistant here. I know their spies are still hiding. You you set them someplace I can't get to, game. It's like a low pressure mission, but it's still kind of annoying because, like, where the hell am I supposed to find? Well, I got a thousand KOs. No one can rule the land as well as I, including you, Hideyoshi. I'm betraying you right now. No, somewhere I'm supposed to be finding more supplies. And nothing's going to happen until I find whatever little supply thing I missed. Like, the story's not going to advance. Like, I don't get to use stratagems to to get a guy to surrender or not. Meanwhile, Kunoichi's racking up KOs without me. Yeah, it really was, Kunoichi. I agree. It was nothing. There, that was it. <laughs> I was missing those. Now the story will advance, so let's interim save. I am officially interim saving over where we didn't eliminate those two officers before the end of the castle because I don't care. Screw it. Yes. This is just the beginning. The real battle begins now. I'm talking like father for some reason, even though I have my own cool voice. I'll talk like you now, son. If we strike swiftly at the heart of the castle, it will inflict serious damage. Advance towards the fireplace room by dawn. Okay, that should be easy. Hello, hello, what's that over there? By the ninja path. Soon be done. Oh, we got to the fireplace here. How are they getting away? I'm in here murdering everyone. Okay, keep the supply soldiers from reaching the main keep. This could be tricky. It could be one where we've already positioned our guys to where we can't possibly do this in time. But with a little strategery, we should be able to do this. The first thing is to get Mitsunari guarding the entrance. Assuming these guys don't get to take that one-way drop-down from above path. Myself. I'm awesome. Maybe we just take care of old Dido, whatever his name is, head ourselves. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know I was going to drop down there, but okay. We missed a flag bearer somewhere. And my battery level is low, so that's great. We haven't gotten enough provisions yet either. Like, I thought using all the fire attacks would kind of make that happen for us, but we haven't gotten enough provisions yet. They all seem to be following the same path. So she should be able to catch up and eliminate most of them. Actually, no, that's not the right move at this point. The right move is to manually control him before something stupid happens and have her going after supply soldiers as the AI just navigates her through paths but doesn't reliably fight. Well, he already got... No, I'm facing away. Man, it takes a lot of hits to kill these guys when the red zones are in effect. Well, here's one of those supplies we're meant to be looking for to get the... Uh... We've got 70 provisions. Okay. So now we'll go back to my original strategy of just having him guard the... Ooh, fudge. No, I need to I need to be playing as him right now. I need him to immediately get back and stop one of them. It's kind of already gone by. I don't know if this is gonna work. Fuck you guys. I might have already blown this. Does it seem like there was one that was already up here? Well, there's a spy anyway. Okay, she's already over here doing it. I thought one of them had slipped by her. Oh, okay, never mind. That's all of them right there. He's looking grim. Oh, I'm merging him and surrender. I didn't mean to do that. Well, hold on. We'll see if it actually works or if it just lowers their... Oh, seriously, look. Master Daidoji, why don't you see sense? We're urging him to surrender. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Any further resistance is truly futile, but how can I face those in Odawara? He's lost his will to fight. Doesn't look like it automatically ends the battle, so I guess I'm not going to boast about achievement as trivial as this. These guys are jobbers. Hmm. So I'm not clear on whether whether we want to interim save. I thought forcing that guy, asking that guy to surrender, would end the battle without without us defeating him. I don't understand how how can defeating him be a feat if it's something that you have to do to win the fight. But, I mean, now, what the hell, maybe it is. So we gotta just, we have to find more provisions and destroy them to winish, winish this mission. <laughs> to finish this mission, we have to get a bunch more provisions before time runs out. And time does appear to be about to run out. So as long as we had to do this mission... We don't want... We actually don't want her attacking him.
We really just need to be looking for provisions. I shall enjoy fighting you. I doubt that, friend. But, um... I really just need to be navigating as much of the map as possible and looking for provisions we haven't already destroyed. Doesn't look like this zone had any. Because none of the other officers are doing anything about destroying provisions. Like, clearing out areas so that they're under our army's control is not enough. We have to personally find all the provisions. And we're running out of time. Fuck. We're not going to make it. I need to go finish that guy off or we're just going to lose from time over. I mean, I did just save, I suppose, but... I don't want to be in a position where I don't have time to get back. Is there more provisions here we didn't destroy? I think we kind of got them all. I might have to redo the mission and um, get more provisions. I can do that off screen. I, I doubt there's dialogue that's like super fast in here that's going to play. But now my concern is that I'm going to run out of time here. Because actually, f that's going to involve like time to explore the castle. and actually figure out, well, where are their provisions we didn't already destroy along the way? Because I was only at, like, 70. It's not like I'm really close. Do I have it? No, that's not a path. I'm gonna run out of time. Crap. At least I found where some of the last ones are. If I go kill this guy the instant I enter his chamber, where there might still be time. But probably not. This is what I call a battle. Me standing around doing nothing while other people look for supplies. Yeah, not gonna make it. Oh, Hideyoshi, he's already in the room. I didn't realize he was already in the room. There you go. So we didn't get 100 supplies, but... We missed a feat. I can do this feat off camera. It's fine. I don't care what happens to me, but my grandson. You have to spare my grandson. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought that the, the current ruler of the Hojo had a unique character model, but that guy had the exact same face and hat. Well, almost. There's sure, sure more enemies outside the castle. Yeah, she's just like obsessed with Yukimura getting murdered here. What doesn't matter? The battle's over. Right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we segue directly into another... Or maybe this is the next battle. Hopefully we don't segue directly in. Hopefully I have some opportunity to go replay this. But I didn't do all the feats. Um, if I play this through off camera, I won't bother to use all the stratagems. But uh, I got everything except the Daido brothers for objectives that I'm aware of. And I think if there were objectives that we didn't unlock, they would appear as, like, question mark. So this probably is all of them. Yeah, I know I'm not going to get an S rating because we took all the time. 50 provisions. Well, we got almost all of our Sanita coins back. Mitsunari can be trained. Unsurprisingly, none of those battlefield items are worth uh, an upgrade. Or Yeah, okay. Plot stuff. <laughs> Wanna run? Now's a chance, Sasuke. But when is he... He doesn't really come across as a coward. Huh? <laughs> That's right, we only pretend to fight so we can beat up other ninjas. Yeah. 
so are they really trying to kill each other or not? These 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 are like Foot Clan quality ninjas right here. These two are trying to kill each other, and all they're doing is killing all the enemies around them. Like she just bent over, and her butt destroyed that guy. That's that. Yeah, these are these are like seriously Foot Clan level of opposition. Anyway, bend over again. And Yukimura has to rescue his own ninjas because they're just doing it wrong. Yep, you're doing it wrong, guys. The ninjas are supposed to be protecting him. Lord Yukimura, thanks for rescuing dumbass ninja there from Demon Clown Ninja. Dot, dot, dot. You're really making it difficult when I have to try to betray you later. <laughs> I don't know, actually know if that's going to happen. Now, this, I think Sazuke represents the same historical figure who we fight as a boss in Neo uh, during these Sanada Clan DLCs. But um, I think in the end, he's on Yukimura's side. But there's got to come some point where he's like either fighting Yukimura or fighting um, Hattori Hanzo at some point before this is all said and done. Are you two all right? You guys uh, really messed up the whole not letting me die thing. I mean, I'm not dead, but so I suppose you could have messed it up worse. Is it just me, or in this particular shot, does it look like Yukimura has a lipstick and eyeshadow? That's not something I'd never thought about his character model before. Yes, we're fine. Are you injured, Lord Yukimura? Because if not, I can help you with that. What she means is, what do you think you're doing? What are you looking at? Sasuke, Sasuke shut the fuck up, man. We stayed behind and fought for our lives all so that you could survive. And then you just come wandering back, all that effort for nothing. Are you some kind of idiot? I think we've established that he is. Hey, calm down, will you? We're ninjas. We, we really don't get to spout off the samurai. If I hurt your pride, then I apologize. That's not what he's saying. That's not it at all. I mean, literally, that has nothing to do with what I just said. But I cannot run away and leave you to face danger. Forgive me. That's not what happened. What are you talking about? You want to risk your life for your subordinates? You really are a fool. Fool of a worry. Oh, wait, that's somebody else. You're not my subordinate. You're my friend. You're my lover. You're a bitch. You're a mother. Huh? I consider you family. I cannot leave members of my family to die. Well, other than Mina. Lord Yukimura, play for free online. Dot, dot, dot. Man, the coffee's just kicking in as I'm about to end the session, too. That might be for the best, actually. Injured during the siege of Matsuida Castle, Yukimura was forced to withdraw from the front lines, but Mazayuki and the others continued onward and attacked the next Hojo outpost, Hajigata Castle. Hajigata Castle was famed for its sturdy defenses, which even the mighty Shingen Takara had been able to breach. It was commanded by Ujiyasu Hojo's fourth son, Ujikuni. Ujikuni sounds like a girl's name. I mean, the enemy's morale is still high. What are they, stiff and glue? But they cannot have any plan which will overcome their numerical disadvantage. Holding up in the castle simply to delay the inevitable is the height of idiocy. That's... Kind of what Yukimura does at the end, actually. I wonder if that's intentional. But for all Mazuyuki's frustration, the Hojo army's resistance remains strong. So we can restore the health of the cannon guard captains. We can use Konoichi to halt Lady Hayakawa. And we can use Masashige Dawudleji to lower enemy morale. But we can't do something that we probably want to explore based on the fact that I didn't destroy 100 supplies. So what we're going to do is call it a video. I doubt seriously that any really fascinating and exciting dialogue will come about as a result. Uh, but next time I'm just going to concentrate on destroying... Well, not next time because I'm going to do this off screen. I'm going to go through that last mission, Matsuida Castle, off screen. Uh, I won't worry too much about any feats that aren't already kind of there and, and uh, you know, sitting there waiting. Like, you know, if, if the if I come across spy captains, I'll defeat them as I go. But, I mean, 
I'm just going to try to make sure we get all the supplies as quickly as possible and ignore the other objectives to the extent necessary. Um, like, probably display as somebody, maybe Kunoichi again, who's fast, and uh, have the alternate character just camp on top of the commander so that if those two Dwaiji brothers show up, they can't kill the commander and cause me to lose, and just run around and find all the freaking supplies. That's really the best way to do it. Uh, to make sure we get 100. And uh, when we come back next time, that will have happened. And we will have all of the stratagems at our disposal for the Battle of Hachigata Castle. See you guys next time.